this research, although the objective is always good, it does involve the destruction of an early embryo to obtain the um, golden grail, which is pluripotent stem cells from the inner cell mass. Now these cells are able to be, become any cell of the body and that's why they are so precious because from those cells the whole fetus, the whole body is developed. Now the destruction of a human embryo, the destruction of human life even in its very earliest stages has always been condemned by the Christian church going way back to 19 centuries ago and they started off with any human life being taken but in the second or third century, the word conceptus, which means one that is conceived already, was already ruled out and had to be protected from any sort of destruction. Now we know that the human embryo is derived from a human egg. Once it is fertilised, we have the fertilised egg, we have the complete genetic genome, the, the genetic package which is the genome which directs and governs every stage of human life and development from the embryo through to the fetus and through to the newborn and onwards. So in other words, it's not several lives that we go through, one life of the embryo and the life of the fetus, the life of the newborn, it's the one life in its ongoing stages of development. And the church is explicit that every stage of human life ought to be protected and not only once we are born or reach the age of reason as some people say or even when you reach the age of voting. Nobody put that one up. But uh, so in other words, it's the stages are different stages of the one life. We naturally regenerate and have the capacity to regenerate materials inside our own body. The stem cells that are in our own body, notably around about bone marrow and things, they do regenerate. But if we can improve on what nature does, like all medicine is artificial, but it is healing a human beings and improving their health. If we can get the same sort of cells that are pluripotent, that are, come, that are derived also from the embryo, if we can derive those from a human source other than from an embryo, then we are totally supportive of stem cell research when it is non-embryonic in origin. These cells can be obtained from non-embryonic sources and why divide the community, particularly when the community taxes are paying for the lot? Why not get a method which can deliver the goods and uh, to everybody's satisfaction? The big names are all moving towards the induced pluripotent stem cells which can be, uh, a, a body cell can be changed by manipulation using not only OC4, which is a transcription factor, but even sets of molecules from outside which send signals. If a stem cell is put near the heart after cardiac arrest, that stem cell, which might come from bone marrow, adapts and becomes cardiac cells. The messages are sent and they transform. So you put, put cells, molecules, next to the stem cell from the skin or bone marrow, and if it will transpose and become uh, even, with the right molecules, it'll become a pluripotent stem cell.